Now, in today's video, you will not only be getting one, but two Freedom McFadden books. To my channel my name is jesse and today i'm here to do a dedicated reading vlog to freedom mcfadden i'm so excited for today's video because i have noticed over time that i have been getting more books but also keeping an eye on this author's backlist i do want a preference i have read other books by this author so this isn't like a like first author taste test of Freedom McFadden. This is just me continuing with books that are on my shelf. So I will say I was originally going to do this video with reading three of her books, but unfortunately I only got around to two. So maybe I will do a part two when I pick up another one by this author. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. This was in the beginning slash middle of March. So let's rewind hello i'm hosting reading sprints right now on my channel with gwen and a vet and i'm very excited um but yeah we are starting the freedom mcfadden reading vlog so i posted over on my youtube memberships the paul print pals to vote on which of the three books that i will be starting for the vlog and the winner was the teacher by freedom mcfadden and i'm really excited to read this one because this is her newest one and the other two are backlist so very excited this one's been getting a lot of high and I've been hearing some people like really love it but I've also heard some people say they just could not finish the book so let's see what this book is about lesson number one trust no one Eve has a good life she gets up each day gets a kiss from her husband and heads off to teach math at the local high school all is as it should be, except last year the high school was rocked by a scandal with one student, Addie, at its center. And this year, Eve is just made to find the girl in her class. Addie can't be trusted. She lies. She hurts people. She destroys lives. At least that's what everyone says. But no one knows the real Addie. No one knows the secrets that could destroy her if people at the school found out. And when Eve discovers the shocking truth, Addie will do anything to keep her quiet. I started this one just a little bit ago and I'm already like 54 pages in. I'm on chapter 11. And another cool thing about the Freedom McFadden books is that they're on Kindle Unlimited. I do like reading on my Kindle, especially at nighttime because it's just easier. I also have the viral like Kindle remote. So it just makes just makes everything so much easier. Anyways, I'm gonna continue reading on sprints and I'll give you guys an update and a general thought once we're done. are over and I ended up making it to like 34% of the teacher and I'm liking it a lot. As I was telling people on sprints, it's very interesting. There's definitely like an ick factor and I don't want to say because it doesn't flat out tell you but you can like feel it. Does that make sense? So you have the student Addie, something happened last year, she's coming back to the next school year, everyone's like kind of picking on her. She also has her math teacher, Mrs. Bennett, but Miss, but the teacher, the teacher doesn't really know exactly what happened, but is keeping her eye on the student, but also the teacher's not all that innocent and perfect as well. But I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Bye guys, so it has been, couple days I think today's Wednesday so it's been two days since I've last updated you and honestly I don't really have any updates but it's a beautiful day hopefully these birds that are chirping aren't like too too loud sorry if they are but it's just such a beautiful day to not be outside so like look at this like how freaking beautiful Evie also wanted to say hello Anyways, it is currently Wednesday. It's almost seven o'clock and I am just loving having daylight. Like it's just so amazing. Like I absolutely love it. But I don't really have any plans tonight. I know Gwen over on her Patreon, she's doing some reading sprints. I will not be on camera because I think some newer people are joining and I'm totally just gonna take the spot of the viewer. But this is a perfect time to jump back into my book. I haven't picked it up since last time I picked up the camera, so 
yeah so i'm gonna do that now and hopefully i'll have an update by the next time i'm talking to y'all recommending it to all of my friends I know like locally oh my god wow this book is unhinged that's the best way I could describe it I really enjoyed it like <sighs> that ending I did not see coming like this book was twisty like from page one to page whenever it ended oh my gosh i really enjoyed it i feel like though there is just something that i was like missing from it so i posted it over on my instagram and everyone was like oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm like let's talk about it let's talk about it and thank you so much for reaching out but oh my gosh there was one big question like there was something that was hinted throughout the story and then when this final reveal got revealed, I was like, wait a minute, how, like, this needs to be explained. So I do feel like that last twist just kind of came out of nowhere, but like, I loved it, but like, I still feel like there I had so many questions and I feel like I understand what the author was trying to do, but I feel like it should have been done just a little better, just a little bit. Like, you see that? Like, do you see that? Just a little bit. But. I think I'm still giving this one five stars. Like this one, oh my gosh, so freaking good. So I would jump into my next book, but I'm actually going to put Freedom McFadden on a pause right now. And that's only because I am actually going to start reading Only If You're Lucky by Stacey Wilmingham. This is the March Sleep When I'm Dead book club pick. And I need to read this one because I think after tomorrow, I have one week before the book club discussion. So I definitely need to start this one, form some notes and opinions. So yeah, I'm gonna read this one. And I'm also vlogging my reading experience with this one. This is an exclusive Paul Print Pal video, so this will not be open to the public. But if you haven't already, you can actually join by hitting that join button next to like my profile photo or on my channel itself. But you can join and join the Paul Print Pals where you will get exclusive Sleep When I'm Dead content like reading vlogs, also like author interviews or bonus content like that in the future. But yeah that is going to be a members only video but yeah so i'm gonna start this one and then i'm gonna jump back into freedom mcfadden hello it has been quite a few days since i picked up the camera for this specific vlog um in a different vlog i mentioned that i'm like doing three different vlogs and it's been a little overwhelming but i feel like the end result will pay off so I read The Teacher, we've already talked about it, so now we have to pick one of the two remaining books. So I have The Inmate and I have Word D. It's also Sunday, it is actually the last day of Bows and Books. So do any of these books like fit the vibe of Bows and Books? Absolutely not, nor do they have anything on the cover for Bows and Books. Summer is actually going to have reading sprints in about 20 minutes, so I think I might let the audience pick which one I read, you know, let fate decide because my Paul Print Pals chose the teacher and they didn't do me wrong. So I think I might let the general public pick. So 
yeah all right so the next book i'm picking up is word d and i'm very excited to read this one I'm really excited because hannah really liked this one and she was in the comments on summer's reading sprints trying to get me convinced to read it so a medical student amy is spending the night in a locked psychiatric ward uh she's been dreading her evening working on ward d the hospital's inpatient inpatient mental health unit uh, there are very specific reasons why she never wanted to do this required overnight rotation, reasons no one can ever find out. And as the hours tick by, Amy grows increasingly convinced something terrible is happening within these tightly secured walls. When patients and staff start to vanish without trace, it becomes clear that everyone on the unit is in grave danger. Amy's worst nightmare was spending the night on Ward D, and now she might never escape. I actually just read the first chapter, and it's definitely setting up to be... A wild ride. I'm gonna read this one and I'll update you guys in a little bit. Hello everyone. It is actually Tuesday. We're not gonna talk about it. But actually today is a perfect day to like pick up the vlog again um, I have not read any more of Word D since reading sprints the other day but I actually get off today at 2 so besides editing my bows and books vlog I have like all rest of the night to do whatever the hell I want so yeah um, I did however <laughs> it's so weird but you know try to be productive but I did go to the grocery store to get stuff for dinner tonight so I have stuff to make tacos and rice which I'm very excited about I also picked up this it's the smart smart food popcorn and it's the chocolate glazed donut one and I was like mm, these just look too appetizing so yeah and yeah 10 out of 10 recommend delicious so this is gonna be my little snack while i'm at work for three hours I feel like after I edited this video, I feel like I didn't really explain a whole lot. I feel like I gave more of an explanation on this one, but I know with Word D, I did not. So Word D is about a woman named Amy. She's kind of going through like, I guess she wants to be a doctor of some sorts, but I guess before she could do that, she has to go to like different institutions or different like she has to like kind of like do clinicals or something and so she's very nervous about an upcoming overnight stay at a psychiatric ward she does not want to be there because of things that happened in the past which you do get past and present timeline but there is something that happens to where no one is safe in the psychiatric ward and she's kind of like locked in there's also this mysterious like patient who's locked up in another room that she's told to not go into i feel like going back i should have seen the signs but i was blown away by this one but i do want to say for the most part of this book i was not really enjoying it as much as the teacher and i think the main character was my problem i don't know what it is but i feel like if you are wanting to be in like the healthcare field, I feel like Amy just was not the type of person that really needed to be in that field. I get that Amy has like her own internal demons and issues, but there was just something the way she acted about the patients. I'm just like, mm, I don't think you're in the right field, honey. Like I would not want Amy to be my doctor, no matter what field she went into. But mm -mm, no, like that was my main issue. Like she just kind of... I don't know like I 
felt like she wasn't really the person fit to be in healthcare. That's just my personal opinion and it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But as the story progressed, it got really interesting. The shocking reveals at the end were like, again, I should have seen that coming. So I think this is really like a three and a half star, but I'm gonna round it up to four because overall I did not see that coming. And so five star and four star, which is a great deal. All right, so that is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you consider joining the Paw Print Pals, which is my YouTube memberships. There is that join button next to the subscribe where you get early access to all my videos, exclusive reading sprints, including exclusive content and so much more fun. We actually added a few additional bonus features on there. So for $2.99, you can be a Paul Brent pal and help support me and get bonus content. But there are other ways to support me like hitting that subscribe button, hitting the thumbs up button, and yeah. So I had fun doing this. Hopefully I get to do more vlogs in the future and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello Ramona, I can't shake the simplest feeling Beyond the ghost, we stand on the opposite